Hey guys, Dale Bateman here. On today's episode of Build Your Success Online, we're talking MLM success again. This time I've got 10 questions to help you define your own brand and target audience. Stay tuned. So guys, you are definitely in the right place at the right time watching this video. I want to help you to identify and create your brand and also to help you get more in touch with who is your target audience, who it is that you're selling to. First off, I want to talk a little bit about a question I get quite often. People ask me, okay, I'm into this MLM or network marketing business online and the company itself has provided me with my own blog that I can use and create posts and get them out there. Am I better to do uh, <clears throat> my best work on that blog or should I still have my own blog that I work on and create content for? Hands down, my answer is create your best content on your own hosted blog. Couple of reasons for that. Number one, the stuff that you create on your company blog, if you will, I'll give you an example, Empower Network, Pure Leverage, they have what they call authority blogs that come with your membership. And you're welcome to blog whatever you want, post whatever you want on those blogs. And that's great. This all provides valuable content, but it provides content as a whole for the entire company which helps the ranking and helps get it a better position in the search engines which in and in the end gets better results for the entire company as a whole but remember that in essence that content that you're creating on there doesn't actually belong to you okay it belongs to the company now as long as you remain part of the company that's great but if you were ever to leave then that content will stay on that blog where you put it and it'll remain the comp the property of that company um, now I'm not saying that you're gonna leave your your MLM company that's kind of a no-brainer um, but there's always that chance so I feel it's better to create your own best content on your own hosted blog all right Take the time, create the content, make it unique, make it something that will help people, provide value, and so on. And that brings me to my main point, which is those 10 questions that I want you to start asking yourself to help you build your brand and create your target audience, who it is you're selling to. Now, why should you brand yourself? Well, there's a few reasons for that. You want to get, uh, your name out there be it your business name whatever for me it's my business name is build your success online and it's the branding of that name that helps give you a voice okay and then when we can contribute to our voice and get valuable content out in front of people then that is helping our branding it's helping to build your brand okay um, now the other thing about your target audience I, I know I've mentioned this before but it's it bears repeating you need to be as specific as you can about who your target audience is right down to their name their where they live uh, what kind of car do they drive do they have children do they not what's their annual income what are they looking for online and so on all these questions need to be answered so I've come up with 10 questions that you can ask yourself that will help you build your brand and also identify better with your target audience so let's go through those now and I want you to contemplate them think about them now don't worry we're gonna sh I'm gonna show them in the video but uh, I also have them on the blog at buildyoursuccessonline.com so check them out there take some time take about a half an hour or so 
and really think about those answers. Write them down and then keep them somewhere because you're going to need to refer to them as you create your content to share with people. Okay? Because it's all about keeping it in line with your brand that you identify through answering the questions and also making sure that you are creating content that is good specific content for your specific target audience that you have identified. So here we go with the questions and I'll go through them one at a time and when I'm done the 10 I've got a little surprise for you uh, a little shorter version if you will that uh, I want you to remember as well. So here we go. Okay guys so here we go MLM success 10 questions to help define your own brand and target audience. Let's start it off you know answer these 10 questions and it'll help you build your brand and build your success online. We have to know who we are and also who we are marketing to. So question one, what affliction or problem does your brand cure? Okay, there's always got to be a problem out there that your brand and the content you're providing will help with that affliction, that problem. It'll answer that question that someone has. Okay, what affliction or problem does your brand cure? Question two, can you describe the spirit of your brand in only three words? If you had only three words to describe the spirit of your brand, what you are trying to portray to your target audience, what would those three words be? These can be very helpful moving forward as you create your content for your blog. Question three, what impresses you the most about your brand? When you think about this brand that you're creating, what is it that impresses you the most about it? You know, if you put yourself in your target audience's shoes, what would they be most impressed about upon visiting your website, checking out your brand, and uh, getting value there? Number four, what excites you the most about sharing your brand with people? Okay, you should be excited about your brand as you create it, your business. This is a business. You need to treat it as such. Okay, um, so you need to be getting excited. And what excites you the most about sharing your brand with people? Number five, what's the most important thing you believe about your brand? What is it that the, what is that one thing that is most vital that you feel you are giving to people about that has to do with your brand that is of the utmost importance? Number six, how will someone in your target audience know when it's time to look at your branded website? Now this is a bit of a tricky one, you know. It, it kind of goes back to number one. What is that problem that people have where they are going to seek some help? Okay, so how will someone in your target audience know when it's time to look at your branded website? Number seven, how will someone in your target audience feel after visiting your branded website for the first time? What is your first impression going to be to them? You know, is it going to be a good first impression? I hope so. Okay, what are they going to leave with? What are they going to be feeling after that first visit? Number eight, how will the lives of your target audience be different after visiting your branded website? Okay, kind of along the same lines as the, as this, the previous question. Okay, how are they going to feel after they visit for the first time? But how will their lives be changed? Will they have learned something new? Will they have gotten value from you? And what will that be after they've visited your branded website? Number nine, what's your number one reason for creating your brand or your business? What is it about your business? Why are you here? What is your number one reason for creating your brand or your business? And number 10, how will you feel when you know your information has helped someone? Okay, 
How are you going to feel when you know the information you've provided, the value you've given, has helped someone else? How will that make you feel? Okay, now, as I said, I've got three quick things to show you. You know, if you want to call this the, the shorter version uh, of the 10 questions, go ahead. That's, that's cool. Um, but I really want you to remember these three things. This is kind of your, your big takeaway. If you remember nothing else from this presentation, I want you to remember these three points. Okay? And if you continue to uh, go after these three points day in and day out, you will find success before too long. I guarantee it. Okay? If you're working hard and you're focusing on these three points I'm about to give you, you will get success. Here they go. Remember, who is your target audience? Remember I talked about how you have to identify them down to a T. Okay? Who is your target audience? Who are you selling to? Who are the people that are interested in what you have to offer? Who is your target audience? Number two, what are the specific problems they are having? They meaning your target audience. Okay? What are those specific problems what are the questions they have that need to be answered? What are, what are those specific problems that your target audience is having? And number three, how can you help them to solve these problems and create a trusting relationship with them? Okay, how can you help them to solve these problems and create that trusting relationship with them? which will turn into a long-term relationship, hopefully one where they become not only your target audience or your leads, but your customers, your paying customers. All right? So remember, who is your target audience? What are the specific problems they are having? And how can you help them to solve these problems and create a trusting relationship with them? If you remember those, follow them and put them into action every day, then you will have success. All right? So that was your MLM success 10 questions to help define your own brand and target audience. Remember guys, you can visit me anytime at buildyoursuccessonline.com. Lots more helpful tips there. Let's get back out of the presentation. I will finish things up and let you go and answer these 10 crucial questions defining your brand and your target audience. Okay, so there we go. Your 10 questions that you need to ask yourself to help you define your brand and your target audience. Guys, if you honestly answer the questions and uh, put some thought into it, you will really benefit from it because it will provide you with a good starting point if you will moving forward as you create your content for your uh, your own blog and you want to make sure that you are getting the best possible content providing the best value for your target audience out there all right guys that's cool thanks so much for watching uh, if you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe, like the video, share it if you want. If you found value here, there's no better way to share it out than with YouTube. Just share it on your own blog if you wish. Uh, share it on Facebook, whatever you like. Um, click over to my blog at buildyoursuccessonline.com to read the entire article. There's lots more information there. And as I said, all 10 questions are written out for you ready to uh, to answer and until next time guys thanks again i will see you soon until then my name is dale bateman from buildyoursuccessonline.com and i'm wishing you a fantastic day bye for now